Brand new video of a man as he fires shots into traffic in Dorchester in broad daylight. As you can see right here, he's still on the run after yesterday's scare, and thankfully, no one was hit here either. Lost 25 News reporter Lisa Pappas live outside BP Day, PPD headquarters, I should say, where the mayor and police commissioner plan to hold a news conference tomorrow about all of this violence. Lisa. Yeah, violence has been a big concern in the city this whole week. Boston police are actively investigating inside headquarters here. Multiple cases in two of the shootings. They're still looking for suspects. One of those shootings was deadly on Monday. The other shooting, we just obtained this new surveillance video that shows how close of a call this was. New surveillance video shows a gunman open fire in broad daylight Tuesday in the middle of this busy intersection by Gallivan Boulevard and Dorchester Ave. The suspect, dressed in a gray hoodie, walks out, ignoring oncoming traffic racing by. He stops a van and then shoots at a car stopped at the light. After firing a few shots, the suspect runs away. That driver of the car that was targeted drove off, and you can see a Boston fire truck right behind that car just missing those flying bullets. Luckily, no one was hurt, but the suspect is still on the run. It happened in the middle of the day. A lot of people are out here in general, so we're asking for the public to help us with this. This was Boston Police Commissioner Michael Cox on Monday seeking the public's help after another shooting in Dorchester killed a man while he was sitting in a car on Columbia Road. This one was also during the day and still no arrests. Meanwhile, Boston Police also responded to a stabbing inside a star market in Mattapan Tuesday, as well as two people stabbed on Brookway Road in Roslindale Wednesday. All of those victims are expected to be okay. And Boston Mayor Michelle Wu will join Commissioner Cox right here at BPD headquarters for a news conference tomorrow on community safety. That news conference will take place at 1230 and we will be there to bring you any updates. Live in Boston, I'm Lisa Pappas for your local station, Boston 25 News.